some uh, folks might uh, term or call uh, model driven engineering model driven development as this is just uh, programming with higher level abstractions but uh, if if you think about it a little bit uh, on a deeper level it turns out that it's uh, uh, it's it's much more than just programming so um, when when we build model based uh, systems or reconstruct systems using model driven principles uh, in uh, the way we construct them, uh, often the models represent not only the engineering artifact that we are constructing, let's say the software that we are building, um, but the, uh, uh, also the assumptions that we make about the environment that the system will operate in. Now, this is uh, a fairly uh, straightforward thinking for uh, people who do, for example, model checking create a model of the system that in itself is open. So really when we want to verify that the system works as expected in its operational environment, we have to create a model of the environment as well and put the two together so we have a closed system that we can subject to a verification algorithm. That's classical principle of model, uh, model checking that uh, <laughs> we have uh, 40 years of uh, experience doing that. So that's one uh, point where I think uh, the models of the world uh, are important. But uh, we also use models to generate test uh, data. And more uh, importantly, in the past few years, uh, training data. So if you are building, for example, an autonomous car with neural network based perception algorithms, for example, uh, it turns out that uh, to train uh, that neural network, uh, you need vast amounts of uh, training data, which is very hard to obtain if you are using a physical environment. So you really have to drive billions of miles to, uh, to, uh, to have uh, any kind of acceptable level of uh, sampling of the environment. So often uh, what happens is that they train these networks based on synthetic data. So uh, effectively what this means, and one example for that is the Carla uh, simulation package, uh, they generate uh, very realistic looking uh, physical worlds uh, capture images and use that to train the autonomous car uh, software, the neural networks, uh, using uh, this training data. So uh, all in all, uh, as I think uh, it's clear that model 